Hello everybody, it's me Fadi and welcome to Fadi Aquarium channel. Today we are unboxing these new Neptune skylights and I will show you how to install them and how to program them. Sky is the new LED from Neptune Systems. Seen good reviews for it from many reefers so we decided to give it a try. The first thought is, wow, this light is huge. Comes in a clean design with two cooling fans on the top. Also, there is a built-in diffuser for better coverage and color mixing. This is the large startup guide that will help you in setting up the lights and program them. Also. This chart has info about how many light fixtures you will need to have to cover your aquarium. On Hani's aquarium, which is 48 inches length with 24 inches width, we are placing two sky units. This plastic Neptune logo comes with two options, orange or gray, and you can replace them as you like. I am keeping the orange one as I like it more. The Aquabus cable is used to connect two skies to the Apex controller using one cable only. And this is the power supply for the light. For mounting the skies on the tank, we will use the old radion arms and we will upgrade them with the RMS XR30 G5 adapter kit. The skylight works perfectly with radion mounting. And this is a little size comparison between the radion XR30 G3 and the sky. Note that the radion G5 have similar size to G3 and G4. The difference that in G5 the LEDs are more spread, however, Skylight has much more coverage. The radion fixture this way looks like two-thirds of the sky. If we rotate the radion like this, it looks like radion is half size of the Skylight. Now, I'll slide the RMS holder to the arm and mount the skylight on the holder. If I'm using Epix controller to control the skylights, I'll use the splitter to attach two skylights with one Aquabus cable. Here, we are not using an Epix controller and we will control the sky through Wi-Fi from a mobile phone. I connected only the power supply. Then I'll mount the skies on the tank.
Henny is measuring the sky position and making sure that the skies are positioned correctly. Controlling the skylight is done through Apex Fusion app. If you have Apex controller, you should be familiar with Apex Fusion. If it's your first time, you will need to install Apex Fusion on your phone. You can scan the QR code and install the app. Because we want to set up a standalone sky, click on new at the bottom right. Then select set up new sky and add new aquarium. Here you enter your aquarium information. Do the checklist, connect to power supply, connect to power supply to outlet and wait for the button on the sky to blink blue. Then the skies will be found by Apex Fusion on your phone. Select them and press continue. Select sunrise time. Then select the color template. We will be using a B plus program. You can choose any program you prefer or do your custom program. Then select the sunset time. Then select the moonlight mode you like. We are selecting after hours. Now let's compare regions to skylights. We use on both lights Coral Lab AB program. These shots are under regions. You can see a little disco effect here. Under sky, there is no disco effect, light looks more diffused and has better color mixing. Sky looks a little bit bluer than radians. And there is a little more color pop under the sky. Note that four results can't be compared instantly, so we will wait for a month to see any difference in growth and colors. That's it for today, thanks for watching and see you soon.